hello everyone you are most welcome again on my channel and as you know we are doing history of english literature and in history of english literature we are completing the topic of renesa now in uh, inside renesa topic there are so many topics uh, renesa is not uh, like if we are studying this topic for uk psc it doesn't mean that you need to remember only its meaning and some writers and some books it means there are there is a lot more uh, to study in this topic so i created lots of videos like first was uh, renesa then it was poetry in renesa and uh, other things we discussed so i have already made so many videos on uh, this topic and later we talked about uh, prose in the age drama created and flowering of renesa and influence of voices and i have categorized these things so earlier i made uh, nearly five videos on this topic so you should go through these all videos if you are preparing for uk psc uh, because uh, or even you are uh, preparing for ugc net you should understand that uh, uh, a single topic is uh, not only uh, just a name or just a word it has lots of uh, writers associated uh, books associated and terms associated so as you can see edmund spencer was in that period fairy queen you must go through okay and christopher marlow then william shakespeare and later i talked about sonnet the video and it is again prose between 1560 to 1625 that was important okay later we talked about ben johnson literary criticism and prose so it it is again prose we are talking about and then we can uh, go through other topics like the age of shakespeare and particularly we will talk about drama here so in this video i will be so uh, actually uh, why i talked about these pages because someone asked me that uh, why don't you uh, talk in detail about renesa because previous in previous video i uh, talked about renesa okay so uh, it's been uh, you know five videos i have uploaded nearly uh, it will be uh, half an hour so we will do this part okay one page a day you need to go through so make a time table come to channel and uh, follow these instructions and you will complete your history of english literature definitely so in this video we will be talking about this part so this is again part uh, prose from prose prose was the first of all used for narrative purpose by sir thomas mallory and caxton then a second next uh, person is george gascoigne and his important work is the adventure of master f j now which got published in 1573 john lilly his famous work is euphues consists of two parts euphues the anatomy of wit got published in 1578 euphues and his england in 1580 the story of a young uh, young man who left the university of athens to see the world and euphues is known for its style that is also called euphuism and uh if you don't know what is euphuism euphuism is a trend in which we use a softer word for a harsh word like for death for passed away we use such words sir philip sydney sydney's arcadia got published in 1590 it was a pastoral romance robert green this is again important writer pandesto 1588 and source of shakespeare's winter's tale so remember these facts as well pandesto was the source of shakespeare's winter's tale here laws thomas laws works are rosaline a pastoral romance again and it was source of shakespeare's as you like it thomas nash 1558 to 1625 and he is the first great realist in english literature Anatomy of absurdity is his work is a study of characteristic temporary manner and Christ tears over Jerusalem it got published in 1593 throws light upon the morals of the Elizabeth Beth in London so you need to uh, remember or understand or if you don't understand just mug up these things for your exams terrors of night about superstition of the age 
and the unfortunate traveler or the life of jack wilton got published in 1594 and the first picaresque novel was the unfortunate traveler so hopefully you like the video if you uh, like the series please do comment and share this with your uh, friends and uh, hopefully you have already subscribed the channel thank you so much for being with me see you in next video good luck for your exams